Hi everyone, uh, we're standing at the, outside the new addition of the Muskoka Discovery Centre. Uh, my name is John Miller, I'm the President of the Muskoka Steamships and Discovery Centre. And Jordan Waynes, our oper Operations Manager, is working the camera. Uh, it's a cold day in January, but we're going to take a tour, uh, a quick, brief tour of this outstanding facility and uh, show you the progress we've made so far. So come on inside. We're standing inside now. Uh, this is our atrium. It's a dramatic space with 25 foot ceilings. Uh, when you stand here, you can actually see the main floor exhibit the Muskoka Past, Present, and Future. Uh, you can look out onto the Wanda Boathouse slip and where Wanda is. And you can actually see up to the mezzanine, the second floor, where Indigenous uh, exhibit will be. So we consider this to be a pretty impactful place. Uh, it's one of the first things you see when you enter the, the new expansion. And it's going to be a very dramatic, uh, very dramatic space with exhibits on the floor and graphics on the wall. So we're quite excited about this area. So this is just a continuation of the main floor exhibit. Uh, hopefully there's enough light for you to see. Um, if Jordan points the camera up to the, to the left a bit, this is where the stairs will be that takes you from the first floor to the second. On the right hand side, you'll see that it's all steel studs. And that's because just outside of this wall is where the existing Muskoka Discovery Center boathouse is. And this entire wall has to be non-combustible, so it's all steel, steel studs. Uh, the concrete floor was poured uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, there's still a bit more work to be done on it, of course, but it's in a rough format now. We will pour the second floor concrete uh, as soon as we're finished some more work up there, so probably in the next month or so. Um, as we walk down to the end, there's another emergency door entrance out into the Wanda Slip. And we'll go out there next and talk about the Wanda Slip and the, and the lift and give you a, a little bit of perspective of what that's going to look like uh, when we're operating this summer. This is Wanda's brand new boathouse. Uh, on December 23rd, we brought Wanda um, into her slip. It took about 10 people and uh, uh, about an hour to do because it was so windy and, and the wind was just in the very the exact wrong position for us to bring her into her slip, but it worked out finally, and now she's uh, been here ever since. So, uh, Mary's story tells us that um, when Wanda came into her slip on the 23rd, it was the first time in 65 years that she's been inside a boathouse. So, it was a very Merry Christmas for Wanda. Um, so, you'll see I'm standing beside a, this is a motor that, that powers the lift. Um, one of the features of this boathouse is that Wanda has a lift, lift platform underneath her right now that will lift her out of the water. Currently she's out of the water about, or she's been lifted up about three or four inches, but it will have the capacity to lift up another four or five feet, so we'll be able to work on her hull when she's in storage in the wintertime. Um, these, these upright steel beams that you see are stabilizers for her, so when we lift her up, she's, you know, she's fully supported. Um, the lift platform uh, will come right up out of the water, so we'll be able to stay on the platform and do the hull work. Uh, and there's a lot of hull work planned uh, in the next, in the coming months. So it's a very important component to this boathouse, and it's quite a, a feat of engineering as well. So uh, that's an exciting part about the boathouse. Um, we're also going to, once we finish the decking uh, and the walls in this area, it'll be a very uh, impressive area for Wanda. We hope to offer tours while she sits in her slip on board and also take her out and, and cruise from this location as well. So uh, a wonderful addition for uh, the Muskoka Discovery Center to have an actual operating electrified historical vessel uh, right inside our, our building here and to be able to operate her and cruise the Muskoka Lakes. We're quite excited about it. So we hope you can join us and, uh, and uh, take a cruise on Wanda this summer. We're standing in our mezzanine now, and hopefully there's enough light for you to see. Um, uh, this will be home to uh, our Indigenous exhibit called Miskiwaki, Confluence of Cultures. Uh, and this will be a unique presentation of Indigenous cultures in Muskoka, dating back more than 13,000 years. Visitors will be taken on a canoe adventure through history as Indigenous peoples traveled, hunted, and settled 
in the region, showing Miskawaki as a hub for Indigenous gathering and engagement. The team that's in charge of this is being led by Tim Johnson. Tim, who, among other relevant experiences, had 10 years with the Smithsonian Institute, Museum of the American Indian in Washington. So we have an exciting opportunity as an organization to be able to provide the Muskoka region and our visitors with a profound expression of reconciliation and action. Add to this our other exhibits uh, down below, the Muskoka Past, Present and Future, the Amazing Steam Era, and an electrified Wanda 3. And we'll have a world-class cultural hub and one of the most unique visitor experiences in Canada. We're standing beside Wanda's steam engine. Uh, in October, we took this out of Wanda with a, with a very large crane, crane and placed it here. Uh, this is going to be the entrance from the existing Muskoka Discovery Center into the new exhibit. Uh, actually, right through these doors that you're probably seeing right now. Um, the Wanda engine weighs about 8,000 pounds, so she was quite heavy. It was quite a feat, actually, to, to get her into her place. But She's officially the first artifact uh, in our new edition, and we're quite excited. Hopefully, we'll be able to electrify the engine and make her turn for the uh, enjoyment of our guests, and uh, that will be the start of their experience in the new Muskoka Discovery Center. So that's our tour for today. Uh, I'd like to thank all the donors so far to this very important project. We certainly couldn't have got this far without uh, your financial support. Um, all the work that you see is uh, being driven by uh, a number of volunteers behind the scenes and uh, their work is invaluable to our organization. I can't say enough about them either. So thank you to both those groups. We look forward to welcoming you all back uh, here in Muskoka this summer. Hopefully to go for a cruise on Wanda and of course on Winona hopefully as well. So thank you, stay safe and we'll be in touch again with another video update.